Okay, these are uh, pretty well uh, cleaned off as best I can. Look, clams are from the mud out there, and I used to go clamming as a kid all the time. I bring the uh, clams into my grandmother, uh, and uh, that's my dad's mother, and uh, she would make this awesome clam chowder, okay? And it's the recipe, the New England clam chowder is what we serve at the store right now. But anyway, let me show you how to grill these babies, okay? Okay. Um, you know, I'm on a diet, but you can't have clams without butter. So I just took, this is my favorite, the whipped butter it stews. I just put it in a pan. I'm going to put it out there on the grill and let this uh, melt down. Hey guys, uh, I'm also going to grill some salmon tonight right now. So we got two pieces of beautiful Atlantic salmon right now. Never be worried about farm raised, okay? I've been up to the uh, farms up in Maine and they're pristine and beautiful. They feed the fish perfectly, just like they would if they were a wild caught. Even Martha Stewart loves that, you know? And what we do, I just put some olive oil. I like to spray it so I don't put too many calories on there. And then my wife and I just do this, a little crushed red pepper and herb de France. I'll show you. Okay, I'm approaching my grill. I dressed up the... Uh, Salmon with the uh, herb de Provence and a little bit of red pepper. We like a little spice to it. And there's our clams right there. And then um, here's the uh, grill all set up nice and hot. So here we go. We got our salmon on there. Okay. It's been about uh, seven minutes right now, and you can see the salmon is getting a nice color to it. Uh, and look at the clams are just opening up. So simple to do that. And what I'm gonna do just up on the top here is just lay that butter up there. And that'll melt down too. The clams will just be a couple more minutes. Okay, just take, there's only a couple minutes more. You can see the butter's melting down. Look at the clams just opening up beautifully right there. And then we have the salmon right over here. And uh, why don't I show you, I love um, putting the skin down like that because watch, you know, flip them over. Look how that skin just, uh, whoop. Look at how that's, look at it even stuck to the grill right there. I'd like to use a little different part of it. Watch, okay. So look at that skin just, Look at the skin right there, see? So I can get rid of that. Nobody likes that. I'm gonna take that off. Okay. But here, you know what's nice now? I'll let this, um, this side's not done. I wanna brown that up a little bit more. But the clams are basically done. I'm just gonna take them off the grill. I'm gonna put them in this bowl. One thing very important is clean your, um, uh, you know, your cutting board and your bowl after using raw product, you know, because you don't want to do cross-contamination. So those are all cleaned up, and we're going to move the uh, clams into the bowl. The salmon's still going right there, and here's our clams over here. Look at those. They look so good. You have never tasted anything so good. You grill clams like that. You know what? I just always pull a few of them off, and I'm going to taste one right now. You know what, you get this really cool flavor from the grill. Much better than boiling them or doing them any other way. Really easy to do. One thing I'd recommend, don't forget propane. Okay, it's a huge seller in the summer. And most people come over desperate because uh, you went out and started your grill and the propane tank was empty. Okay, so keep that thing full. Check out the butter over here. I'm going to take that off. That thing's melting down nicely. Just a few more minutes. I've been out here about 10 minutes right now, and I flipped these over. One of the clams did not open, okay? I thought maybe it was in a hot spot, but if a clam doesn't open, toss it, okay? It usually means it's dead, okay? So over here, check this out. Look how beautiful those look. You'll never taste anything so good. And with that nice butter, terrific. Just flipped over the salmon right there and that looks like it's pretty well done right now um 
And so um, I'm gonna pull it off. But here right now, Kim, <laughs> and you just take this as salmon, what do you think? Delicious. Okay. Hey, what wine are we serving tonight? Um, a, a wine from Mount Etna. Oh, really? In yeah. Italy? Yeah. Fantastic. Sicily, right? Yes. Okay. So this this is just about done. We got the butter over here. I'm going to put it on the plate, and I'll, we'll check in when we start eating. Okay, check it out. We got the salmon. We got the clams over there, and we have this great wine from Mount Etna. And Kim, what did you do with the uh, vegetables? We have a uh, shaved Brussels sprouts and um, broccoli rob and string beans. Okay, that looks really healthy right there. Um, here's what I got to do. Look at this. Check that clam out, that grilled clam right there. We'll just rub it in that butter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Definitely grilled clams. <laughs> Fantastic. One little thing I forgot to mention here is this mango salsa. Let's look at the top. This is really good. We make it fresh right at the store. And that goes really good with the salmon, okay? But I'm not letting it touch the clams. I'm going with the butter. <laughs>